Well, hey everybody, I am back trout fishing in the day. And what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna kind of go through my favorite setup for trout fishing. I do spin fish, so I'm not a fly fisherman, but I do use flies and I do use a very certain rod type line. So I'm gonna go through all that with you guys and hopefully try to catch some uh, fish along the way. Here I do have my uh, stream thermometer, which I'm gonna dunk here in the water first and see what we got for water temp. And then we're gonna get fishing. So uh, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so I had the thermometer in there for about, I don't know, four or five minutes. Pulled her out. I don't know if you can see there, just above the 60 mark. So we got 60 degrees. Should be decent fishing. I'm gonna get to walking and uh, yeah, let's catch some fish. Here we go, got one. Not a bad one, looks like a brown. Come here, buddy. Fell victim to the turkey marabou. This nest not a bad trout either. Not a bad one. He's got really, really cool spots on him. I don't know if you look at that spine there, you can see he's got really, really distinct. That's really cool. Anyways, I'll hook this guy. First fish of the night. Gorgeous, gorgeous brown. There you go, buddy. Get out of here. There we go. It's a little bugger. Another trout victim to the turkey marabou. You guys can see here, he's not, nothing real big, maybe 10 inches, but. Hey, fish number three of the day, better than zero. Thanks for playing, big guy. Big little guy. I had fun. Heck yeah, man. That log jam creates a perfect little break. Right underneath there, there's a little eddy and there's a hole here. That's where he was sitting. Oh, that was good fish. That hurts. No way. Here we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Don't come off. Oh, nice fish. Here's a nice trout. Oh! This is an absolute tanker for this stream. Oh, baby. Look at that. That's probably a 15, 16 inch fish right there. Um, that's an absolute, absolute beautiful brown for this small stream here. 
after I missed that, I don't know if it was this fish, but I missed four fish, four casts in a row. Finally, I missed this guy again, and then I hope I hope you can see it on the on the on the GoPro where he hits, because he makes a big swirl on top of the water. Oh. I mean, that's a thick boy for this stream. That's a real thick boy for this stream. I'm gonna get one one last look here in the camera. One last look here. Absolute gorgeous brown. Heck yeah, baby. All right, man. You played well. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's not a terrible fish. Nothing huge, but it's a little intruder. Swiped you up. This is not a bad one. Not now, nowhere near as nice as the one before, but uh, hey, we're catching browns. Oh, oh. Well, sorry about that really crappy release. Slippery little guys, but turkey marabou does it again, man. So, guys, I did want to talk to you quick about my setup that I use here. So, um, starting with the rod itself, what I'm using, it's a 5.6. It's, a it's not a very long rod. If you could see where I'm kind of trout fishing here, it's just kind of what I'm usually fishing. And there's a lot of trees and laydowns and tight, you know, areas to cast in. And uh, I like this 5.6 rod because it makes it easy to cast in those hard places to, to get to. Having a 7 foot rod out here is really not going to work well, even having a 6 foot rod. I mean, the 4 inches really do help, I think. It is a light action. I do like the light versus the ultralight because there is good potential to hook into some bigger fish. And with an ultralight, I feel like you just don't get a good enough hook set sometimes on those bigger fish. Yeah, it is fun. Usually trout rods are ultralights, but I like the light rod. But to tell you guys what uh, brand this is, this is a Berkeley Lightning Rod. Like I said, five, six, light. I've got three of these things. I absolutely love them. They're not expensive rods. I think they're like 30 bucks. And then onto the reel. So for the reel, I'm using a Fluger President, uh, 50 size, 500 size, whatever. Uh, smaller, the smallest one you can get, but uh, wooden handle. Um, this thing, I love, I love this reel. Drag is butter smooth. You can catch up nice on fish. It's uh, just an all around really good reel and uh, I really do love this reel. If I can give one piece of advice to you guys, if you are gonna spend money on fishing gear, spend money on your reels over your rods and your tackle. Your reels are gonna make a huge difference between your drag, your catching up to fish. I think the reels are one of the more important things you can get and one of the more important things to spend good money on and not buy cheap. But then lastly, the line. If you guys can see here, I am using a high-vis green line. I like the high vis line because I like to see, for one, where my line is at all times. Um, a lot of times when I'm using these jigs, um, I'm either feeling for bites or I'm seeing bites. And just being able to see where your line is, I think has really helped me get to where I fish and target target certain holes I want to target. It is six pound. I would recommend six pound or four pound. You shouldn't need anything more than that. If you have a nice reel that's got good drag. Between four pound and six pound, you gotta check what brand you're buying, uh, what kind. Um, but it's in the line diameter. If the six pound and the four pound have the same line diameter, go with the six pound. That's that's kind of where I've gotten to, is uh, I'm using the um, suffix six pound monofilament high vis green, love it. But then uh, also you guys know, I like throwing these little flies that I tie here. There's one of them. Um, but that's pretty much all I use is the, the, the flies that I tie. I'll use a spinner or a pala every once in a while and then. But that's kind of my setup. Five, six light, love this rod, Fluger President with six pound high-vis mono on it. And uh, this has been my uh, trout fishing setup for about two years now. And it's a machine that does well. If you guys don't believe me, go back and watch the videos. So that's my setup. And let's get back to catching some more fish.
Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I kind of just wanted to show you guys uh, the gear I use to target these smaller streams and uh, just kind of what my setup is and what I fish with. Uh, once again, I had an awesome time out there fishing. Uh, missed a lot of fish, but hey, it was still fun. You guys saw I still caught a few nice ones and had an absolute blast while doing it. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.